On the top is your rating and it's £15 a month. And it tells you how many days you're at sea and how much you've paid. After three and a half months, I paid over £27.19. shillings. <laughs> In 2013, members of the actor team attended the funeral of a, a long-time actor supporter who was in fact a, a merchant seaman. When we looked round the church, which was full of his comrades and, and fellow sailors, we realised that there was an amazing untold story that needed to be told to the people of Bristol. I started going round and talking to ex-merchant seamen, gathering stories um, about their experiences, about their feelings, um, about what their lives were like on the sea and at home. I'd always wanted to go to sea from, I was about, uh, I suppose, 10 years old because my brother who was seven years older than me went to sea and so that was what I'd always wanted to do. I always used to play around the docks. I lived in St Paul's as a kid. You've got the opportunity, as we did then, to see the world and get paid for it. I've been to places that I can't even find on a map. It was an industry that surrounded us, so it was just a matter of fact to say, oh, I'll pop off to sea. We gathered a group of actor community performers. Some of them we've worked with for, and some of them we were working with for the very first time a lot of them from the village of Avonmouth. We'd give them the stories that I'd collected from the sailors and they'd take the stories away and create scenes and devise monologues and invent characters. We had wonderful little scenes, wonderful little sparks of what then became the play. My character is called Mary Taylor. I'm the mother of Tommy, who goes off to, to sea. I'm very anxious about the fact that he's going off to sea. He's my little baby and I don't want him to go. We first started by improvisation and from that, uh, Neil wrote the script and it's our story. We made up our own kind of like characters ourselves and then that got put into the script. So it's like we made our own characters really. It's kind of nice to see our characters come to life. That's kind of like we created them and it's just nice to see. <laughs> Grown up, it looks so beautiful. And, it, and it's, it's all true. Uh, true, a lot of it, all the information, all the research that's been done. True. You know, we've tried to bring into this play um, as much as we can, um, you know, the reality of what it was actually like working in the Merchant Navy back then. You sort of meet people that you never really ever forget, you know, those first names. I mean, it, you were saying, it's a very formative part of your life. You're confined to a ship, isn't it? It's maybe four or five weeks at sea in them days. Yeah. And it is a very close line. You get very good mates, aren't we? You go ashore, you stick together. You trusted them implicitly because you had to, because your life depended on them. If there is a problem, then I think you can more or less guarantee that, that you would help each other out. We won't go a bottle hidden away. If we did, we think we'll give it to you. Look, it ain't until we get to Halifax and you can have a nice steak at Jim's bar. Blokes seem to be like they'd never quite grown up a lot of them, you know. Yeah, <laughs> they, they, they to 50 to 60-year-old yeah. blokes would go ashore, and if you were a, a youngster, like they, they would tend to they take care of you, you know what I mean? There was a language which you learned, I mean, which was <laughs> sort of sayings and things like that, you know, I mean, <laughs> that, you know, we're talking oh, about... Yeah. Suji. You oh, yeah, Suji. Suji did that. Yeah. Suji did that. You never wash yeah. your clothes, it was Dobie.
with the show, I like that there's this real sense of differences between the men on the ship and the women back at home. When are you two, Jenny? Next month. It's never going to be back in time, is it? To be married and, you know, and yeah, disappearing for six months of the year is not really good for a longevity, let's put it that way. I also really like the irony of my character because obviously she says how much she's not going to go with the sailor and then inevitably falls in love with the sailor. Are you sure I'm not putting you out? I mean, I could go somewhere else. Not at all. Come on, let's catch them up. Okay. People forget this so often that um, it was quite difficult for the ones left behind. When you said cheerio to your wife, it was just see you when you see you and that was it. It was wonderful to see and to hear from the participants how much they learned and how much they came to respect um, those experiences and those stories. I've learned that I like 50s clothes, um, <laughs> but I've also learned just a little bit more about the time period and also how hard it would have been for the wives of the sailors in Avonmouth. It doesn't just go through one sort of age group, it goes through what all the age groups are doing at the time, which is kind of nice to see a type of play like this. We think history really matters. And I think it's a real duty almost to do everything we can to connect people with their heritage. They were exquisite and for them to be able to fit into a role of <coughs> my era uh, was wonderful. The portrayal of the Vindicatrix young lad and what it was like there was, was very, very accurate. It was very tough in actual fact and uh, I think you, you, you handled that part very well. Very true to life. I, I found that from the woman's point of view, I think you got it pretty well off. From the man semen macho point of view from the soft or the hard yes i cried i laughed i felt cold i shivered and i haven't felt that for a long time i feel very emotional i feel very proud i feel um, honored that i have been associated with actor for so many years because i just feel that actor should be on as i've said this before on every street corner because i think it reaches so many people it was a really good story and um, it really took you back and gave you an idea of what it used to be like Absolutely brilliant. The actors and actresses were absolutely great as well. I'm still a seaman at heart. I'll always be a sailor, I'll always be a merchant mariner. I think I worked in a firm for 15 years in the city of Bristol College, but to me, I was still a merchant navy man. Mm -hmm.